Good morning, everybody. 0600, I think. The days don't count. They don't matter. So I got something cool to talk to you guys about today. Something I find interesting. It's a philosophy debate. Here we go. The premise is based in first aid. So, uh, you know, uh, emergency medicine type stuff. All right, so first aid. Two, two things we use in first aid to help healing. One is a bandage. A simple adhesive strip that covers a skin abrasion. The second is a crutch. Some kind of a stick or apparatus that you, you lean on to support yourself. Taking, uh, taking pressure and off that leg, off that, uh, that knee, that ankle, to let it heal, right? Which one is better? The Band-Aid works while you need it to, and then even if you leave it on, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't uh, keep working, you know? It just, it served its purpose and it's done. But what about a crutch? A crutch is necessary. Take pressure off that leg. Don't put pressure on it, let it heal. If you keep using that crutch, that limb that you're using the crutch to protect is going to grow weaker. You will need that crutch in order to walk. A bandage simply protects you so you can heal yourself. A crutch gives you mobility until you're strong enough to walk on your own. You got to put that crutch down and walk under your own power. All right, guys, this has been a fun chat. My walk is complete for today. Last lap. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, be smart. Please stay safe out there. And thanks, as always, for bearing with me. Good morning, y'all. 0500. Yesterday I looked at the forecast and I saw that it was going to be even warmer today with a very high humidity so I started my walk a heck of a lot earlier. I've already got a couple laps in. I'm on my last lap so here's your dad advice for the day. The feeling that we get that we're just not enough. Here's my take on it. Just because the water is still in the middle of the river doesn't mean it's not doing what it's meant to do. I'm not good enough, comma, yet. I'm not good enough yet. Every failed relationship I ever had, I wasn't good enough for that relationship. Well, that relationship might not have been good enough for me. <sighs> not being where you need to be right now should never be a reason to step off the path, lay down and quit. The most epic tales, the most brilliant stories, the movies we love the most. How boring would they be if everything went right? Have some patience with yourself. Give yourself the same kind of compassion and patience you give to others. You'd be surprised how much you love yourself in a week. You are a work in progress. Just because you're not finished doesn't mean you're not worth a damn. No. Maybe there's a better way to say this. Maybe I've taken too much of your time, but thank you guys for watching. I'm going to finish my last couple laps here, if I can, because I'm not finished yet. And I hope to see you all soon in the comments. <laughs> Be smart. Stay safe. Thanks for bearing with me. Good morning. 0400. Here we go again. I know I've already talked about blessings, but I want to do it again. Things I'm thankful for. When I make a list of things that I'm thankful for, I put every tiny little thing I can on that list because I want that list to be as long as possible. I know that in days of sadness or moments of no motivation, when I'm having a lazy day or I'm in a funk or I'm in a rut 
or I'm just having an off mental that the length of that list is going to give me power. The more things I identify and verbalize or write down on that list, it's going to do something, man. It's going to, it's going to make a difference in my future. When the stuff you worry about, don't sweat the petty stuff. But when you're counting your blessings, you count every damn one of those little bastards. Now this video is not going to be a list of everything I'm thankful for. That would take a week to upload. But I am going to give you just a few of the top. First and foremost, I thank God that I was born in what I believe to be the greatest nation on earth. I am proud of where I come from. I am proud of the first soil that my feet touched. I'm grateful for learning how to be a hard worker. I'm thankful for my parents. I'm thankful for my mom. She was a wonderful, nurturing mother. And we miss her. I'm thankful for my father who taught me every single thing I could ever imagine and hope to learn about what it means to be a good man, a strong provider, a protector of the weak. And that brings me to my daughter. I am more thankful for her existence than I can even, I can't even put it into words, guys. That little girl, she destroyed everything that I was and made me everything that I should have been all along. I am thankful for my friends. The people who have been honest with me over the years and told me what I needed to hear, whether I wanted to hear it or not. I am thankful for tough love. I am thankful for that gentle hand when I did need it because I was on the verge of breaking. I'm thankful for the gift of entertainment. I can make people laugh. I can make people smile. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you for being here right now, for being a part of my life, even though it's a digital one. I love you guys. Maybe it's the leprechaun in me, but if I really look at it, I'm one of the luckiest people I know. I'm not a mega success. I'm not a movie star. I'm not a top YouTuber. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even a great streamer. I'm, I'm a pretty rotten gamer, actually. I don't have much skill in a lot of the games that I play. But I'm having a blast. And you guys are enjoying that time with me. And when you're there and interacting in the chat, it just overwhelms me, man. So thank, thank you to each one of you. My country, my parents, my daughter, my skills, my talents, all of my followers and friends. And I, I know that's just a short list. Oh, and coffee. Can't forget coffee. Coffee is life. I know it's just a short list, and it, there's so much more. But I just... I had to share it with you guys. I hope and I pray that every one of you out there is having a great day today. That you're going to have a great weekend. And that something shows you today just how blessed you are. I know there's pain out there. I know that a lot of you out there are having a rough time. When you share your stories of success or failure, when you share your pain with me, when you share your dreams, you touch a part of my life that not many have. And I appreciate you. So thank you. I'm gonna continue my walk. Um, I got a little too sentimental with this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys. Be smart. Please stay safe out there. And thanks as always for bearing with me.